the two superpowers of the world have lots to talk about. As the highest level American official stepped off the plane in Beijing, Anthony Blinken's aides already tried to downplay the outcome of the visit. But he's still the first Secretary of State to make the trip in five years. Blinken began his first meeting in the afternoon at the Dayu Tai State Guest House, met outside by the Chinese Foreign Minister King Zhang, who until a few months ago was the ambassador in Washington. Standing by their respective flags, the greeting was described as chilly from reports on the ground, which is hardly surprising given the build-up. I have no idea what this thing is. I hope it's in focus. The meeting was postponed for four months because of this. Americans claim the Chinese sent spy balloons into their territory, which they shot down. The Chinese say they were weather balloons and accused America of overreacting. Then the diplomatic drama continued, with angry rhetoric turning into military drills over the Taiwan Strait. Back to today, at a very long table in Beijing, with the delegations facing each other, they didn't make any opening remarks as they closed the doors to reporters. So what will they have talked about? For Blinken, American officials said their goal was to reopen lines of high-level communication. For China, Taiwan would have been high on the list, an independent island who they claim as part of their own territory. Earlier in the week, the United States was told to stop interfering in China's internal affairs. There's one more big question looming over the visit. Will President Xi Jinping meet with Blinken? A few days ago, he warmly welcomed Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, calling him the first American friend he'd met in Beijing all year. While well, the American officials claim the talks today behind closed doors have been candid, substantive and constructive. They'll be hoping for more of the same tomorrow to restore a sense of calm after a period of undeniable tension.